eighteen hundred hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines A meeting of the Parliamentary Party of the ruling Pakistan, Tariq and South, and other allied parties in Islamabad today discussed the overall political situation in the country. The Foreign Minister says Pakistan will continue to play its role for peace and stability in Afghanistan. Pakistan has urged the international community to take practical steps to stop the Indian government from pursuing discriminatory and anti-minorities policies. A total of 179,000 Pakistani pilgrims will perform Hajj this year. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian troops during their continued violent crackdown operations have arrested over 50 youths, including women, in different areas of the territory. <music> Saudi Arabia has extended flight and travel bans over coronavirus fears to include the European Union and 12 other countries. <music> and now the news in detail. A meeting of the Parliamentary Party of the ruling Pakistan, Tariq Insaf and other allied parties was held in Islamabad today with the Prime Minister Imran Khan in the chair. The overall political situation and other matters of importance came under discussion during the meeting. The Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says Pakistan will continue to play its role for peace and stability in Afghanistan addressing the 28th graduation diplomatic course for foreign diplomats in Islamabad today. He said diplomatic norms are rapidly evolving in the world and we should modernize our foreign policy according to the requirements of the new era. Pakistan has urged the international community, including the United Nations, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and Human Rights Organizations, to take practical steps to stop the Indian government from pursuing discriminatory and anti-minorities policies. At the weekly news briefing in Islamabad today, the Foreign Office spokesperson Aisha Faruqi said the world community must ensure protection of minorities, especially the Muslims and the places of worship and properties in India. She said the large-scale targeted violence against Muslims that took place in New Delhi in the backdrop of the highly communal statements by the Bharatiya Janata Party leaders has been a matter of grave concern for Pakistan and it and it is highly condemnable. The spokesperson also voiced concern over the ongoing gross human rights violations in occupied Kashmir and attempts to bring about demographic changes there. She said Kashmir is an internationally recognized dispute which has been reaffirmed repeatedly by the United Nations Security Council, the United Nations Secretary General and most recently by the OIC Special Envoy on Kashmir. The 16th round of Pakistan-Sweden bilateral political consultations was held in Islamabad today. Special Secretary Europe Dr. Aman Rashid and Head of the Department for Asia and the Pacific from the Swedish Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Cecilia rutstrom Ruin, led their respective delegations. The two sides exchanged views on important regional and international issues of mutual interest. They also took stock of the entire range of bilateral relations, including political, economic, trade, investment, and education. Both the sides expressed satisfaction over the level of cooperation in international fora and agreed to continue supporting each other. The Swedish side was briefed on the progress made by Pakistan in stabilizing the economy, ease of doing business, and investment-friendly policies of the government. A total of 179,000 Pakistani pilgrims will perform Hajj this year. This was announced by the Minister for Religious Affairs, Nurul Haqqadri, after performing balloting under the government Hajj scheme in Islamabad today. He said 149,295 Hajj applications were received this year, out of which 105,413 have been selected under the government scheme through computerized open balloting. 
The minister said 7,648 applicants who remained unsuccessful for the last three consecutive years will be selected without balloting. He said successful candidates are required to submit their medical certificates by the 19th of this month in their respective banks. The finance division will propose a suitable raise in federal government employees' salaries by factoring in the overall economic situation in the upcoming federal budget. A statement issued by the finance division today said the government understands and acknowledges the difficulties and economic constraints faced by the federal government employees. The statement said in response to the strike call by the Secretariat employees for raising their salaries, the Ministry of Finance held meetings with the federal government employees to assure them that their proposals will be duly considered. This is Radio Pakistan. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has emphasized the need for provision of insect-resistant seeds to farmers to enhance per acre yield of different crops. Addressing a national dialogue on agriculture organized by the National Assembly in Islamabad today, he said for quality seeds, the research institutions will have to play their role. Addressing a conference on mental health in Islamabad, the president called for increasing the number of lady health workers to effectively deal with health-related issues. Dr. Arif Alvi said mental stress and anxiety is a major issue, which is affecting about 30 to 40 percent of Pakistani people. He said the people should indulge in social welfare work as well as healthy activities such as exercise to relieve depression. The Law Minister of Farooq Naseem says the government is committed to provide all possible facilitation to the bar and the bench in ensuring speedy justice to the general public. Addressing the Islamabad Bar Council in Islamabad today, he said judicial complex will be inaugurated in the federal capital this year and all possible efforts will be made to provide space for the establishment of facilitation center for lawyers. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Firdaus Sashi Kawan, says the launch of seven projects of 20,000 houses is a practical step towards realization of the dream of building five million houses. In a series of tweets today, she said these projects will give boost to the construction sector in the country. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian troops during the continued violent crackdown operations have arrested over 50 youths, including women in different areas of the held territory. According to Kashmir Media Service, the troops arrested these youths during house raids and cordon in search operations in Sirinagar and various other districts during the last two weeks. The residents of these areas said the forces personnel during the operations barged into residential houses, harassed the inmates, ransacked the household goods and arrest the youth on fake charges. The illegally detained chairman of Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front, Mohammad Yasin Malik, could not be presented before a Tada court in Jammu through video conferencing in all false cases due to illness. The World Kidney Day is being observed today across the world to raise awareness about the importance of kidneys to our overall health and reduce the frequency and impact of kidney disease and its associated health problems. It is a joint initiative of the International Society of Nephrology. Saudi Arabia has extended flight and travel bans over coronavirus fears to include the European Union and 12 other countries. According to Reuters news agency, the Saudi citizens and residents in the affected countries have been given 72 hours to return to the kingdom. The kingdom had already banned travel to some 19 countries, including neighboring Arab states. In the United States, the House of Representatives has approved a war powers resolution aimed at limiting President Donald Trump's ability to wage war against Iran. The House voted 227 to 186 in favor of the war powers resolution. And now cricket, Lahore Calendars will take on Karachi Kings in a match of the Pakistan Super League in Karachi this evening. The match will start at 1900 hours Pakistan Standard Time. And finally, the weather. Mainly dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. However, rain, wind, thunderstorm, along with snowfall over the mountains, is expected in Islamabad, Upper Punjab, Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit, Baltistan, and Kashmir. 
And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.